another way to help out uh, a quarterback who's kind of new to the starting role, as yours is in Desmond Ritter, get him a run game, get him protected. And again, you used your your second round choice on the offensive tackle, Matthew Bergeron out of Syracuse. Uh, But you also get him a tight end and you already have one of those. And what a decision that was to take Pitts where you've taken him and you took a tight end you know, top four, and now you're taking a running back top eight and a quarterback in the second round, or you're given a shot here. Um, is this, walk me through your decision-making on these being your, your some of your tentpole guys and your expectation level here for the offense in year two for Desmond Ritter, Terry. Yeah, well, when it comes, we do believe that, hey, you build a, a team front to back, inside out, so you, you have to invest in the front. And that's always going to be the, the the most important thing. We are going to invest in the front, and so we're talking about um, players that we drafted in the top ten over the last three years. But we've also made major investments up front. You talk about a couple of years ago, um, extending our left tackle Jake Matthews, and then extending Grady Jarrett, um, our defensive tackle, a year ago, and this year to be able to make Chris Lindstrom the highest paid guard in the league, and to be able to extend. Caleb and and the investments we made with um, as we go through our defensive line with Calais Campbell, Bud Dupree, David Anyamata, um, bringing back Lorenzo Carter. So we we believe that the most important thing is is the front. We have to invest, whether it's draft capital, whether it's free agents. We need to invest because we believe the way you're going to really win games and have sustained success is establishing the line of scrimmage. We, we want to have tough, violent, physical front, and and, and we believe. We believe in the identity that we have, um, and so we want to continue to add to that. But that being said, yes, when you can add offensive weapons um, that, that that can help out, because we believe in our team. We believe in Desmond because of the person he is, the leader he is, the way he works. We believe he's gonna he's gonna get the most of his ability because of the person he is and the, and the way he's gonna work. And we believe in our team, and it takes a total team, um, offensively, defensively. You got to have balance. You have to be able to run the ball. You have to have playmakers, and you have to be able to rush the quarterback and take the ball away on defense and stop the run. So, um, we believe we want to continue to make the total team better, and that's going to help everyone. Well, what's Desmond Ritter's expectation level then? What do you got for me for this for this fall? We want him to look. My office actually faces, or, or I can look right out my window and, and see the field. And man, whatever. Every time I turn around, there's guys out there working, and, and, and they're they're doing their best to get better, and that's who Desmond is, and, and he's a worker. And you look at – he wasn't highly recruited coming out, and all he did was went to Cincinnati and became one of the winningest um, quarterbacks in college football. And no one will say that anything was given to him. He earned everything that, that he got, and we expect the same of him here. And he has that mindset. He's going to earn everything he gets. And, and we love our team. We love the character and identity of our team, and he fits right in that. So then let me ask you this this way then. I mean, you had so many options. Arthur, when he was on uh, last month, said, of course you guys talked about Lamar Jackson. You talk about everything, yep. and then you made the, your decision, and then you kicked the tires, I'm sure, on a ton of kids in this year's draft at the quarterback position, um, had them in for visits and things of that nature. Why did you eventually land on Desmond Ritter as your guy? Yeah, well, it's about just what you said. You have to weigh them out, and you have to go through that process with, with every – whether you're talking about draft picks or a lot of talented uh, quarterbacks in this draft. And same thing through free agency. There are a lot of talented players, and you have to go through that process and weigh, weigh it out. And you're always thinking about how you're going to affect the total team. And there are different blueprints to do this. And um, some teams can pay a lot of money to quarterback and – um, and some teams can have a quarterback on a rookie contract or have a mid-tier. There's a lot of different blueprints, and teams have had success in every way, so it's our job to weigh everything out, and we do that, and we will, we'll continue to do that. Uh, but for us, with, with where we are right now, um, we're very excited about, again, not just Desmond, but the total team. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 